What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in the last episode, uh, we captured Lisbon and we captured London. We destroyed the Portugal. And what else did we do? We destroyed the Royal Navy that was uh, still holding out in Portsmouth. But apart from that, we haven't uh, we haven't destroyed the British uh, yet. We just really want to consolidate the gains that we have made in the last episode. Then we can um, move against Austria, who is has some considerable strength. Um, we allied with Russia. I think, well, the way I think I want to do it is I think I want to attack Naples and Sicily. I think that's what I want to do. Land to the south, take Naples. Although Naples is potentially going to rebel, um, then invade the Italian states, who also hate us, who are allied with uh, Venice, Spain, <coughs> France. Although we could knock out the French, but we are still allied with them technically, so that would be slightly bad form. Um, but I think we're counting our chickens before they've hatched somewhat. Well, let's hit in turn. Let's see how the world reacts to what we just did. Yeah, more troops are being gathered. They're demanding Jamaica. Nope. Not a not a bad trade either. Thirty thousand steam pump land drainage. You know, if you're short on money, that's a great deal. I, however, I'm not short on money. There's a full Royal Navy stack and a full Royal, Net Royal Army, British Army fleet. They demand some tax and they want peace. They are not going to get it. I'm unsure about where that Royal Navy fleet has gone. We need to send out some screening ships to go find it. Then we can engage. Uh, nope. Okay. Yes, if we invade and push up Italy, we can start to we can capture a very lucrative region and start to threaten Austria from the south. And then we can cross over. We can effectively pull a pull a World War Two, invade the soft underbelly, push north, then land in France, and this time we'll land in France, and in. Amsterdam, we will just swarm them. I think that's the plan. I want to maintain control over the seas in the Indian Ocean, but not necessarily invade India. I want to contain India to prevent it from interfering in our affairs. But at the end of the day, we still want to maintain our attack. Oh, yep, the, uh, the, the, plain, the Pueblo nations, not the Plains nations, people are selling against us. So let's destroy them and capture Texas. I believe this is their last turn, in, the last turn that they're available to hold out. So that will be nice to see them destroyed. Then we can secure the region, fortify the borders with Mexico, and then we'll eventually attack New Orleans and, and relieve the French of their last colony. So we're going to advance slowly and with caution. Although we could go on the defensive. Yeah, let's do that actually. Force them to come to us. They have artillery, but not very much. I think they've only got a single unit. Militias sit at the back. Skirmishers. They're going to go into the open ground on the right flank, actually, with the militia. Native bowmen just 
hold back here and provide some support, I suppose. I'm going to put the bulk of my cavalry on the right flank because that appears to be where we have the most decisive position. over the crest of this hill and then be within range. I mean, we may well loose our volleys on them a little bit early. But that's okay. This is why we've got that extra support from the native Bowman Auxiliary. Tribesmen are rolling in. Their guns are back here. I'm surprised our artillery didn't engage them first. Not very good guns. That's triggered their cavalry to attack. Artillery! Oh, they can't. They're not... Oh, it's presumably they... They are not able to engage very well. Fire at will. Nope, they don't want to shoot at anything. Yeah, they're still doing damage. Stand ready. Interesting. Good hits here. Charge the Warrior Society. Pivot my skirmishers. Let's make sure we shatter them. Push forward into the garrison Native American warriors. Skirmishers are engaging the warrior society, picking them off. I wasted their charge. Get out of there. They are very keen to get after my skirm my um, cavalry. Take my entire left flank to be honest let's take these men up here secure the high ground they've surrendered control of it They're going to give it up. We're going to take it. Get my militia to open fire. She might want to gang up on the Warrior Society as well. but they're going down first. My, mer get my militia involved. Take cavalry, blow through. Actually, no, keep going for the tribesmen because they're already wavering.
Light Cavalry, pursue that tribesman. Light Cavalry, pursue that unit. Push in, bring the general up for moral support. Aim at the tribesman. Mission line reload. Go for the chief's bodyguard. Let's take him out. Charge the armed tribesmen. Big retreat. Push up the line, switch to round shots. And you men charge the armed tribesmen. The it's ready. Artillery, aim for the native artillery, because they are on the move. Kill the enemy general, actually, cavalry. Go for their artillery. Our artillery can cease fire. Charge the garrison. Native American warriors with a 31st regiment of foot. Nope, they've had enough of that. Swarm the chief's bodyguard. He's already wavering. Artillery destroyed. General's bodyguard is going to be on the way out soon. There we go. Excellent. Texas belongs to the Americans. Territory will become ours in our next turn. So we need to spend we do need to spend a good chunk of change on consolidating our territories. As it stands, we've Yeah, we've made some good gains. Done some very significant damage to our enemies. I mean we probably could just sail on to Stockholm and knock out the Brits permanently. Start to thin out the number of factions we have to go through in the end turn phase. Workers are on strike in Portugal, but now they've realised that actually we're jolly good chaps. Okay, let's go for a church school, steam engine factory, global trading company. Actually, that was all really expensive. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of. Oh, no, we don't know. We want the College of Divinity. Immediately. So the army is replenishing Greenwich. Should know we're recruiting our sloops in Belfast. Ready and waiting. Set sail. Eight, when they do that, you, you select one deliberately. For some reason, the game kind of screws it up and thinks, "Did you mean to select two of them?" You go, and you go, "No, I did not." Orders. On our way, Captain. On deck. Excellent. So the British Isles are secured. We don't need two colleges of divinity. Just the one will do. Albert Baines. First of all, new town emerges in Michigan Territory. Construction report. Jamaica's upgraded the government building. Let's keep going with that. So, I should probably just go destroy those guys. We shall rule the way. So, say an auto resolve should be safe because they've only got two, a fourth rate and a fifth rate. Go back to the Americas for repairs. Yes, 
Understood. Excellent. So that was you. Orders. Ready for so you're action. going towards Ross Butler's force. So you go in Durant for repairs. Orders. On our way, Any Captain. orders? Officer on deck. There we go. Right, so. Let's go for another fourth rate, and then let's just get some. Just get some frigates. No more money. Okay, let's not spend loads of... Okay, let's not... Let's focus on one trade fleet at a time, then. So let's demolish. Actually, you know, that should be okay. Get rid of the meeting hall. Get rid of the subsistence farming. Let's get better roads. Punish the army. Okay, you're all sorted. I think we need to take one of these armies. You, by the looks of it, to engage Albert Baines. Let's go get them. I think I probably will send one of these armies around to Stockholm to destroy Britain. Just knock them out once and for all. Don't leave them struggling and kicking. Just keep on... Just destroy the faction. Same as same as the French, really. Just we should just get them out. We've got we don't have to worry about anyone else. Right. Artillery. Ooh. Good position, 24 pounders, so their range is very good. Oops, missed one. Excellent. Howitzers and rockets. Fire at whatever targets you feel like. Okay, let's take some of my. Actually, I've not got that much weak infantry. Group he goes together. Most of the rest of my army is actually pretty good. I mistook the unit of Marines for Legion, so I just thought, oh, I'll just group them in my light infantry. Oh, no, 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 no. Excellent. Get cracking. Actually, they're going to come at us. Got lots of heavy cavalry. Lancer guards and the light horse are under heavy attack. We can drop into squares. Don't worry about the General's Bodyguard, they are, if they make it, they're probably going to get chased off, yep. Redirect our artillery fire into the centre because our cavalry is going to be occupied. Skirmishers into the trees. Into the woods. Line infantry get back into formation. Start to whip around the flanks. Excellent. 
Hussars and Lancers against Regiment of Horse and Cuirassiers. Back then, back by combination every day of the week. Ooh, quick line. Quick line actually worked okay for us. It did kill a bunch of our cavalry, but we did good. Dispatch a my light cavalry to go after that general bodyguard. There we go, proper American style. Skirmishes in the woods, opening fire against the Swiss line. I don't think the rockets have got anything to shoot at. Engage the blunderbuss shotgunners. We're going to start to engage the general's bodyguards. Knock out the shotgunners, then go off the general's bodyguard. This fled right to the back of the map. Line infantry guards attempted to charge us, but that didn't work. Oh, it's a switch to round shot. Actually, they might kill my cavalry. Get my long guns in on them. Bring the legion in. Okay, cavalry, come back. Redirect my artillery fire. The rockets coming in against the Royal Irish Regiment. Devastating results. Get my foot artillery to keep engaging the blunderbuss shotgunners. Kill the enemy general. Was that the... Oh, that was over here. Not the... Oh, the content of Marines chased down their enemies. Poor map. Unbalanced lines. Skirmishes full map. Cavalry run away. Ready to engage the left foot. But they have broken. Understandably, they're upset about it. Muskets are crashing in against the 81st. There they go. Artillery. Ceasefire. Aha! Skirmishes, eh? Skirmishes, light infantry, chasseur britannique. Commit my cuirassier into the Swiss guards. Big mistake coming back, Buster. The light infantry are attempting to try and defend you. Come on, rockets. Engage this block of infantry. You can't give them a fire order, they just have to fire at will. Light! 
Loaded it. Rockets are engaging with Chasseur Brittany. Only nine cavalry left because we struck it, we hit a bunch of the stakes. Engage their light infantry. Charge them, line infantry, slam into the chasse of Denis. Unsurprisingly, my cavalry did run away because they, they did get up to three horsemen. There we go. The force has been defeated in a very bloody battle, but victory is ours. We're going to drive the British south. Excellent, we lost a cavalry unit that needs to be replaced. Uh, you're not able to get down there completely, but we can push up. Make ready. Sure, what well, I might Sir. recruit if I can. Light cavalry sharpshooters. Excellent. Okay, let's also get a militia unit to hold Portsmouth. Probably nations have been killed. Workers on strike in England. Workers on strike in Portugal. Nope, they're both pretty safe. They're pretty happy with what we've got going on. Let's get a unit of militia to hold. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. If you're a trade port, you can recruit your own sloop. Excellent. Okay. You will probably end up attacking the French. Oh! And they will not like it. But then again, they won't like it. Spain won't like it. But France and Spain are both in the same boat here. Okay, the important thing is we're going to start to generate some really good tax income from these regions. Yeah, exempt blunder from tax. Just try to see if I can get them to simmer down. Or recruitment in the Americas. Yeah, Mexico is just desperate to get a hold of whatever they can. But I'm not going to give them anything, so they can whistle. They're not going to get any of my any of my regions, no sir. Especially not Gibraltar. Ooh, Spanish Republic. Ooh, the garrison at Reykjavik. I mean, we've effectively fought that battle already. Let's just not say that. They're trying to whip around the flank of our attack. That's right. Lee. Well, it doesn't really matter what they do. When Corsica goes down, the French Empire goes down. Although, if Spain becomes a republic, I will support them. <laughs> if they become... That's so that's very thematic. If they become republican, Spain will become a great ally of ours. I will let them... Let them develop. Because that seems thematic, that the, that the US would embrace and support a republican power emerging in the old world. That fits so well to me. At some point, we need to knock out the Ottomans. Well, we'll get there. Let's not be hasty. We have to push across Europe first. I think attacking attacking Naples and the Knights of St. John would probably both be good things to do. I mean, this, the Ottomans look like they've got a reasonably developed empire now. 
you know, looking at the buildings they've got built, I mean, the few ports haven't been upgraded. That's kind of a bummer. Go on, Republicans. Take over. I mean, or, or have they? Did they win? Is that like they might have won actually that's the reason why the army in the port is also republican okay we have an agent down here who's pretty useless Agent recruited, Protestant missionary, missionary in England. Actually, first step. Oh no, Dublin's pretty proselytized. There's no religious unrest. Shit, orders received. Aye, aye, sir. Get the agent to Away start to spread you. Protestantism to the <laughs> to the Austrians. They'll love it. They will. You kill them. Victory is ours. Onward. Excellent. So just, Forward. just be ready Forward. for what may what orders. may come. Trait gained. Happy drinker. Good. Okie dokie. Dublin's got cobbled roads. Let's get metal roads. Good, the Black Hills have been developed. Okay, steam engine factory. A couple of army army buildings. So, Spain. I mean you are a now a republic. Present state gift. Have some finest jewelry. Although the allies with France, you are, but France doesn't like us. Let's take him out. Forward, march. Embark, Granville Stapleton. Men, way anchor. Forward. Diplomacy. Cancel the alliance. Open and declare war. Don't call our allies in. Oh, Spain broke their alliance with France. Spain chose us. Fleet ready. What? I was going to say, why are you sailing around here to hop off when you could just land here and run in? But it must have been because we could attack it immediately. Okay, so now Spain is... Spain is our friend. Spain is a republic. Spain is not a target. We will protect Spain. If they declare war on anyone, or anyone declares war on Spain, we will back them up. We're not going to let them be... let them be betrayed by other powers. So they're, de they're currently destitute, but I think once they, once they start to develop uh, their economy a little bit, they should be, should be okay. Try and uh, repair the buildings that they've currently, they've probably burnt down in their rebellion. Put artillery on the high ground. My marines and native units are going to advance through the town. Howitzers are going to provide support. But the bulk of my line going to advance around the edge of the town. I can keep my heavier cavalry on the right to try to help out in this in the uh, in the town itself, but I think. Yes, this is what we need to do. Run.
something like this. Let the artillery open up on whoever they desire. Cavalry move out rapidly. Now it's used quick climb because the artillery, the enemy um, positions are quite closely, well they're bunching together quite nicely there. Gendarmerie coming in. There we go. Yeah, you men. Get out of square. Advance. Light infantry push up. Gendarmerie should not stick around for very long. They're not very good units. Artillery just slam shots into the centre. You can see all of the casualties they've taken from quicklime. Keep cavalry pushing around the flank. Advance towards the guns. Close the distance. Get around the flank. He was galloping so hard. Oh, he was galloping so hard. Get the general's bodyguard. Get my light infantry up onto the high ground. Not a very good time for the French Empire. As soon as they crest the hill, they're going to get picked off by my light infantry. The main line itself is crumbling. running the complete wrong way. <laughs> the entire French army is scattered. That was easy. Excellent. Ah, they have one unit of gendarmerie left. There it goes. First Regiment of Horse not covering themselves with glory. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd call it a heroic victory exactly. Heroic? Is that the word for it? I'm not sure. Either way, we're getting rid of the government building, we're getting rid of the port. Make ready. Get into the Away. port. You men cover. Here, let's recruit a sloop. Actually, no, recruit a light galley. France is gone. Of course, what that means. Hey there, Louisiana. I'm not going to fight that. <laughs> oh, technically, we have won the campaign. However, realistically, we have not. We're going to conquer the world. Okay. Spies. You get down to Antigua. Hiding. Hiding. Get rid of the seminary. You still need some roads, but we can't afford them yet. Nope, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to be... Okay, are we going to take Caracas? Well, yeah, we are going to declare war on Grand Colombia at some point. You could do it with a sloop, ready to replace... 
your ship. Yes, so you can team up with a Ross Butler. And that'll be fine. We've done all of this. That's done all of this. Okay, let's commit my navy to do some raiding duties. Because like we've done in other campaigns, we want to block off Austria from global trade. We probably are going to invade Norway. Hostile allied with Russia and Britain. I think, yeah, fight them, take Norway, take Stockholm, start to invade. Attack Russia, then potentially do a big amphibious invasion around to Arkhangelsk. Start attacking uh, Russia in the east. Awesome. Technology is continuing to develop. Great. Let's hit N10. I need to I need to sort out my recruitment. I keep forgetting about Boston. Mexico is invading Spanish territory. <laughs> I'm going to enter war on the side of Spain. Spain is a new is a new republic in Europe. Mexico is still a new republic, but it's in territory I want. So that was a strategic misstep there, Mexico. You did not ex probably didn't expect me to betray you like that, but I want that territory. Britain's going to send troops to no, they're bringing them back to Europe. They want peace. They're not going to get it. Um, decline the attack. Let that <laughs> let that ship run or uh, get through. Withdraw. 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 Quick, flee to the Black Sea. gonna have to go get them back <gasps> how dare you Austria you enter the territory of my gallant ally they invade Ceylon I think they've landed troops there hmm I'll have to find out later it's the Ottomans Doing fairly predictable Ottoman things. Slowing our game down. Yeah, we're taking Corsica. Probably take Malta, because then that's all of the Mediterranean islands secured. We can send an army up through Spain to help protect it and to start campaigning against the Austrians. Should they advance into our territory? Or the territory of our allies? It's not ours yet. Mm, there goes Russia. We do need to sink that Royal Navy task force in the middle of the North Sea. Prevent that army from getting back to wherever they want to, or wherever they're bringing it, probably to towards Sweden. They appear to not be counter-invading the British Isles. So it's not an immediate concern, but we just have to be aware of it. Alliance broken. Rebellion in England. Donald Mayhew. Well, you're just going to get Victory smacked. Ours. Yes. And then smacked again. We are mighty and unbowed. So he lost one Mayhew. unit of regular cavalry. I know. Oh, sorry, that's your. You didn't have one to begin with. Sir. You're getting the light cavalry sharpshooters. Men, forward. How do you feel now? Better? Yes, they feel better. 
fleet arrives. Come in for repairs. Okay, so now we're with Mexico. You, good sir, you've been waiting patiently for a while. Let's invade Panama. It looks like uh, everyone wants a piece of Panama. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Land off the coast. Ships orders received. Recruitment reports are good. Where to, Captain? Ready for action. Yeah, only one of these Ships seconds orders. can join. Officer on deck. You're recruiting lots of second rate ships on the line. Fourth rates recruited. Ready. We've got these th first rate ships of the line. We can make them all admirals. And these can be the stat the, the beginnings of some brand new ships. And I like having my admirals on first rate ships of the line. Because it means they they come in behind heavy first rates and first rate ships of the line. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, you probably. Okay, we do need to get rid of the gunsmith. Issue with the church school. Government building and then another church school because we need to send a lot of We need some lot of priests. Um and a lot of priests around to try and convert the population. We don't need to run to Mexico. We'll rush to Mexico rather. We can take our time. The area is reasonably secure. Whatever army that they build here is just going to be a bit rubbish. Hello. Okay, so this force at Gibraltar, you're not a superb army. Yes. But you can cover one of the cover this bridge into Spain. Troops, halt. Yeah, you you need some you need some support. Give you national debt to help try and get Spain out of a bit of a rut. Let's collect my ships. Repair you, build a port here. Leaves me with not very much money, but enough money Underway. to take you out to attack Clarence Inglis, who has an entire army recruited in India aboard. Let's go get him, but um, yeah, let's do that this, this turn. Why not? Do that this episode. Ten minutes to go. That's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably going to be about 10-15 minutes over time. But yes, I, I yeah, I, what I really should do is keep one of my armies in the Americas prepped for an invasion of India, because I, I just can't give up Ceylon and Calcutta. When Britain disappears, I'm in a position to take them out, to capture those territories. I can't just give them up. Warrior, Centurion, Wabash, Boyne. Excellent job. Followed by all my seconds, plus my Admiral. The uh, weather gauge is very much against us. 
Although actually they are... Hold on, there we go. If I try... There we go, that's, be that's better. Let's watch them make the first move. Try cut towards them a little bit. Bane, second rate ship of the line. Newton, third rate. Fourth, fifth, heavy frigate. Oh, second, 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 second. Heavy privateer, sixth, heavy frigate, fifth, fifth. Okay, they're moving fast. We should cut them off. We're definitely making enough progress to do so. Unless they manoeuvre. Which it looks like it's usually the AI does all these tiny course corrections. Which you can see them doing the whole ever so slightly going. So we have to slowly turn away from them if we want to get the first shot off but to be honest I'm not actually that bothered about that if fame gets separated from the the rest of their formation they're going to be in trouble regardless so a heavy first rate can take a bit of damage up front we're going to split their line in two speed up time if we if we time it right we don't actually have to slow down although i think we that third rate is going to cut us off i think bane cut us off as well so warrior chain shot we've lost two guns and a handful of crew For the main mess, lads. There we go. Now you're having Balmas having to heave over. They're in trouble now. But get ready with chain shot as well. Another mask that would be super if we could, but if we can't, that's also acceptable. I think we've got one, we did get one. Heard another. So we've got snarled up in this fourth race ship of the line. Fame's going to be engaged by effectively every ship as they pass. Against light ships, I do like firing chain. It feels like they, they are they're easier to dismast, 
and their morale is seemingly so disproportionately affected by it. Well, that fifth rate routing immediately after losing the main mast. Give them an order to keep pushing. You want to sit, sit on the stern of fame. There we go. So you've been, you're surrendered. Raisin's gone. Engage fame, lads. Sadly not. What about you? Centurions on fire. Cease fire. You start firing round shot to try and get some of these guys to surrender. You need ceasefire, you can start firing. Brazen surrendered. So then you're gonna have to pivot and start pummeling these ships. It's still only Wabash on fire. Wabash is no longer on fire. Those tigers main mast. Make some of these ships to the rear sail on. Towards the back of this fleet. Thames lost all of her masts, so she's very upset. Herald sail on. Good, good, good. Keep sailing, get ahead of the Tiger. Latin. Just fire your guns. I'll try to do a hard turn between both these ships. Make sure 
you're all sailing at full speed. Just sitting there pumping shots into there. Tall Bay? Where did he come from? Yeah, you need to start firing at Newton because I think you've just caused they've just been causing lots of problems. Okay, sail on. Set in Torbay. Warrior sinking. Deal with that scallywag that's caused this this trouble. Newton's routing. Yeah, let's try knock out masts. I can see him trying to unfurl. Ooh. Not a Scooby. Speed. Serious, understandably, is routing. They are just kind of in the middle of all of these ships. Knock out one of their masts from Torbay. Scoundrel can't be allowed to do that sort of thing. Herald is sailing on. They can pump some shots into Glatton. Surrendered. Just fired off one last broadside, then surrendered. Let's try not to take out that last mast from Dido. You can't, you're not turning because of North Carolina's position. Two hundred sixty-five. Newton's routing again. Let's try bring her. Try bring her in this time. Stay where you are. Home shot into Tiger. Surrendered, surrendered, surrendered. Okay, it's everything against Tiger in the center. Uh, 
elephant's sinking. Moria's taking on water, but she's not listing badly. Shots into into um, Tiger's stern. Fire! She fires. Surrendered. And all your men aboard. Nice. Very nice indeed. We may take their larger ships into our fleet. generally like to pick them all and go right do, 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 no. nope nope excellent and all your men gone return to Portsmouth Simon Blackwood make for Near Portsmouth. Ships orders, Captain. Nathaniel Wallace can replenish. Yes, I think we do want to invade Norway. I think we will do them the honour of engaging their fleets rather than forcing them to accept swift capitulation. So we've done all this stuff. Everything's sorted. Pardon me. 2,000. So you're ready. You need just regular infantry plus heavy cavalry. Let's just select some infantry. Cool. Okay, let's head in turn. Recruitment is ongoing. So, Mexico, since you invaded... Oh, they took Santo Domingo. That's not bad. Oh, no, don't come and attack my ports. Ah, but they're going to do battle with us. Is this Enrico? Enrico Capato. No, that's my other campaign. <laughs> but still, they're coming out to attack us. And looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the slaughtering of some of our Mexican former allies. Cheers, everyone.